It was a warm summer night in the city. The school break was in full swing. Leo was spending the night at his friend's house again, and on days like this they often stood on the balcony just to talk and breathe in the fresh evening air. Fortunately, he could access the balcony from the bedroom. Look, there are more and more windows like that. Yeah, my grandmother told me about them. She says you should never put a lamp like that in a house. It changes people. <laughs> This is a special lamp for plants. Yes. First for plants, then people themselves become like one. Grandma told me so. <laughs> Sam, you're hilarious. Sam decided to look through the binoculars. Perhaps his grandmother really came up with some story again and just scared him to make him put away his toys and go to sleep. <gasps> Sam was really frightened. He threw the binoculars on the floor and ran into the apartment loudly closing the balcony door. Who was it? Maybe his grandmother was right, or it was just a fantasy. Leo thought that Sam must be tired, because he was two years younger than him. So he did not believe his words, and just offered going to sleep. A couple of weeks later, Sam looked in on his friend to pick up a book. It was getting late outside. Leo opened the door. He looked quite tired and sleepless. Where have you been? You promised me to bring the book back ten days ago. Come in. <gasps> Come into my room. I have something to tell you. Sam went into the hall and immediately felt a strange smell in the apartment. As if it had not been aired for many days. The air was stale and the apartment was half dark. As they walked down the hall, he noticed the barely closed door to Leo's parents' room. Sam kept following his friend on some kind of an automatic level. And they went into his room. Leo closed the door and grabbed Sam by his shoulders. Listen, you were right! My parents! They bought that lamp and now I don't recognize them at all. They forbid me to open the windows and go outside. They stopped giving me food. They don't eat anything either. They just look at that lamp. I'm so glad you came. They just stand by that lamp all day long and do nothing. Then the door to the room moved. It moved from side to side until the two friends heard the voice of Leo's mother. <coughs> Leo, darling, why have you closed the door? Have someone came to see you? Hide, here! <coughs> Sam laid under the bed and was afraid to move. He held his breath and waited for what would happen next. Leo's mother came into the room. Her legs were pale and thin. He heard what they were saying. <laughs> Don't lock yourself away from us. We love you. I thought someone had come to see you. We got worried. No, no, I'm fine. I'm going to sleep now. Yeah, sure, to sleep. Oh, Leo, we have a surprise for you. Surprise? <laughs> Honey, show him. He switched on the light in the room. It was bright purple. Sam's heart was ready to jump out of his chest. He was lying there, trying to breathe as quietly as possible. Who do we have here?